with peace. That's what Arafat says. That's what peace now says. Let me tell you something. Someone who starts a war and loses will have to learn a lesson. Winners win and losers lose. <laughs> and winners who are attacked and win don't give up land. Losers lose. I'm all for that. We will keep the land and give them as much peace as they want. And let them learn a lesson so that if God forbid they start one more war, then that which they have now, they won't have either. Let them learn a lesson. This isn't the game. This isn't the game. Who we'll start the war, who we'll lose the war, shout peace and go back to go. No, it's not a game. <laughs> For the Jews, they're so hungry for love. They're so hungry to believe every insane comment by every murderer of the Jewish people. Arafat gets up and he says, I'm against terror. And Jews, see, he's against terror. Yes, he's against terror. The problem is that he maintains that what the Arabs do to, to Israel is not terror, but national liberation. He accepts 242, 338. True. Sure. But he accepts them, as he said, within the framework of all the UN resolutions on the Middle East, including 181 of 1947, in which the Jews will have to go back to the boundaries of 1947. But he said 242. Yes, he said 242. He said that he recognizes the existence of Israel. Yes, that's true. Let me tell you some of the things whose existence I recognize. Disease. Earthquakes. Roaches. Of course I recognize them because they, because they exist. I recognize them for the purpose of making sure that someday they won't. But the foolish Jews who run and shake the hand of a man whose hands drip with Jewish blood. I don't blame the Arabs, not at all. I understand the Arabs, they understand me. Neither of us can understand Jews. 